They're starting so fast. Yeah, bro. I, you gotta give me a sec, dude. Come Sorry on. for the people who were stuck with the 20 seconds of ads left, but whatever. <sighs> All right, town and city. No one's dying for a very long time. All right, so winners finals. Uh, Wait, numbers. Power, I forgot. Oh yeah, I forgot. Numbers, numbers one. Right. right. Numbers ten. <laughs> Okay, okay, poke him, get that grab confirmed. I love that this music just doesn't fit at all with what's actually happening right now. The literal ghost of light versus the most powerful fitness woman in the world. It's crazy. I mean, with such a stark difference, I think that matches pretty well. It's wacky cartoon bullshit. Uh, okay, <laughs> you know what? Actually, I have a different perspective on that now. You have given me a new way to view this. So honestly, Animal Crossing music, Fights to the death that go hand in hand. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, oh my numbers double eliminated Jen uh, on bombs on Monday. Okay. So, wow. I think he 3 0'd him in winner's finals Damn. and 3 1 him in grands. Okay, that's surprising. So, wow. right now things aren't looking too good for Jen. Yeah, Jen looking already slightly like frustrated. Jen definitely has it within him like to 48? just kind of... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, he was running. Bro, he was maniac. running. He won that town and said he assist. Good Lord. <laughs> Jen is down, but what? That was odd how the up air didn't wow. actually fully connect. Mm, Jen a little panicky with the... With the option select right there, like if he was drifting away, sure that would have been good. But from what John was doing, he was not drifting at all. He was just staying still. He was challenging Jen in that regard. Like, yeah, come on, hit me, hit me, hit me with your giant ball of fire, dude. Try it. Like, what's a giant ball of fire to a giant ball of sun? Which is also technically fire. <laughs> Hey, except like that fire heals her. So take that for what you will. Alright, so Jen finally taking off the first stock. It might be a little too little too late. Uh John with a full stock lead. Uh Jen trying oh. to close that gap as fast as he can. He's just like, you can't touch me, I'm about to put 40 damage on you. That's part one, baby. Okay, part two of the combo video. Oh, and and, and, and it's cancelled. It's cancelled. <laughs> it's uh it's hitting him. They got scrapped midway through, dude. Oh, there's a burrow, but an immense mash coming out from Jen though. Great. Mm, up was a bit missed space, but thankfully for him, he did not get punished for it, surprisingly. Okay, covering it. It went high, surprisingly, but actually kind of good him, except for the fact he got... But, what, what? He just threw hands at that soccer ball so hard it went back into Powell's face. My goodness. Oh, he just, just stood there and took that. Oh, that should be it, right? Yeah, forward throw to take that last stock. That Game one breathing. going to John Numbers, who has been doing well here, just to remind everyone. He won last week, correct? Yes, and hello, Brand. I have not talked to you before. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. I've uh, definitely been here the whole time. I just thought <laughs> to make sure to I my, my, pick my words carefully. Of course, of course. Um, you want to analyze the sets mid-process. You want to get ready before you actually open that mouth. Oh yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna be moving into game two now. Ryu. This is something we've seen before Ryu. at uh, Zeno Saga or Zeno 200, right? It was at Zeno 200. Yeah. It was at Zeno 200 that this Ryu ended up doing amazing work, specifically versus John. Correct? I do not remember honestly. I remember he fought Vivi with Ryu. This is Hero. I'm not sure how that went exactly, but all I can remember is he definitely used him in that matchup. Well, already things are looking. This is a very different beast right here. John had taken 57% and not been able to dish out a like more than 12% in return. And Ryu kills dummy early. He, he still kills does. dummy early. So, yeah, one misstep from numbers could cost him. Maybe not quite yet, but in a. <laughs> A little, little ways future from now. Now we could probably die, I think. Right? Yeah, easily. One up tilt will confirm that into death easily. But that nair was a definitely was definitely a good way to block off some damage to the up air as well. Hmm. All right. Okay, pushing away with the Hadouken. Now, 
Yeah, I just want to say, normally, Ryu, one of the strong, hardest spots with him is getting in versus these zoners. But you can see that he has played against John so much that Jen is just like slowly encroaching on that space, recognizing the little tricky things that John normally does. And all he needs to do is get in one more time and he can end this stock in brutal fashion. But John actually seems to be gaining a little bit of control. Maybe all he needed was some time to adjust to the new character. Hmm, possibly so, possibly so. At the very least, he's mixing up the focus attempts really well right there. Like, it made John somewhat react to it. Even though he didn't get much out of it, he definitely made John on his, kept him on his toes anyways. Oh, a missed grab in that direction. John is not quite dead yet, but... Oh, and he's getting closer to it. Yeah, the next hit here probably oh. will do it. And that Forward was really, tilt. Mm -hmm. That was smart on on numbers end to hold up, being to hold down on the up. This way he didn't snap ledge on that. Plus poking him and plus giving him another way to get back on the stage. It was particularly risky though. It was risky, but he he, paid, he won for it. Oh Reeves yeah. would have paid for that one. It's one of those oh. things where you wouldn't think of it as like the stock winning play, but as you see right there. Jen able to even up the stock count, which is really big for him. Numbers is one of those players where if he starts to run away with a stock lead, it feels it, it feels impossible to catch him. So at the very least, Jen actually still having a bit of a lead here. Not anything like the beginning of this game would have foretold, but nonetheless, he still seems to be in it. This is definitely a huge surge of change compared to the last game. Like, like we can definitely confirm that Jen made the right pick for switching from Palu to Ryu. And I'm surprised he still has the sauce with his character. Like, he's definitely pressuring him a ton in terms of long range distances with the uh, with, uh, Hadoukens. And of course, up close to personal with the down tilts, confirming the Tatsus and the Duke, and, um, as well as Shoryu's. Like, like, this is still a really good character. One touch from an up tilt right now, and John will die for it. John seems to be aware of that, trying to stay more on the platforms, go to the ledge. Yeah, trying to just keep his distance. Oh, okay. He does not want to approach him, which is very understandable. And plus the moment that Jen does, that's when he strikes. And right oh. back that, it's even. And it's okay. Jen tried to approach him from the platform, and John just recognized that and got enough damage that he had a lead. Wow. But Wait, did they trade backers on that? I guess he did. Okay, wow. All right, well, Jim must have gotten a, a leeway on that in terms of frame advantage because he got that much faster compared to, to numbers. And, like, I'm sure if that was with deep breathing, he would have traded pretty well. But also, sometimes you take priority over the send, uh, the fire version of the Hatuken. Apologies, I don't know the exact term for that. All right, John going deep in order to get himself some deep breathing. Oh. Okay, he's checking him for the jump on stage, keeping him a bit more disadvantage off the ledge. Okay, good Ooh. movement, good yeah. movement. Ah, well, it's good damage. movement until he gets hit for it. Of course, I like yeah. the bravery involved, and I like the idea of trying to be more, you know, cute with these B reverses on the Sun Salutation and everything. Mm -hmm. But it seems that Jen recognizes that nonetheless. Right now, he once again has a lead. Oh, the spacing that phase, on that. that, that I don't think he faced Rick with his foot. Wow. Deep breathing saved him. The yeah. reduced knockback probably kept him alive right there. But John, keeping him alive might only be for uh, a little while Ooh, longer. He is at wait. 103%. I'm surprised he didn't, pace, he didn't power through that despite not being a multi-hit. Hmm. Okay, try to cover with Hadouken. Not fast enough to cover the roll get up though. A back air will punish him for trying to get too close and personal. And thus, it's back to even. Practically even percents. Oh, oh and we that. got a much tougher and he actually situation. Sniped him. Wait. It looks like he went for forward air there. He put for forward air to try to counteract something, but let's talk about the priority. That was just amazing recognition by John Numbers. And when you look at the way he played that, he would play careful. He would, get, you know, just like maintain space, maybe throw out a volleyball, but not commit too much. And then he would recognize the one opportunity and he would take it and run with it. As you saw right there, often converting a single hit into a sun salutation, into an edge guard, into a stock. So John really sh sort of confirming the dominance that I think he's starting to show in the region here. Yeah, his Wii Fit